welcome back to Dawkins Family Farm. Um, we hope you had a wonderful weekend. We have here on the farm, it's been a weekend, a whirlwind weekend. We've been here, there, and everywhere. Um, Caroline had a basketball game at the high school and um, her little team of fifth graders were invited to sit with the high school girls and go to their locker room and be a part of the huddle and get to be in all the action. So that was really fun. Uh, the boys actually caught t-shirts that were thrown into the crowd. Luke caught a double XL. And Luke is just a little guy. He's my littlest. He's 10. And uh, <laughs> it swims on him. But he wore it proudly. He was so proud of it. And then Jax actually was his perfect size. So he is like, score, I got a new shirt. And it says Queen of Basketball on. And so it's perfect uh, for him. So that was kind of a win for the evening. <laughs> Saturday morning, uh, we loaded up and uh, went to uh, Papa and uh, Grant and Savannah loaded Cookie up and they went to a hog show and uh, Grant and Papa filmed a little bit so I'm going to let you see the, the footage of kind of how that looks like and what it looks like to go to a hog show. Hey guys, it's Grant and Savannah and Papa and we are headed to our livestock show in Okima, Oklahoma. We're headed there right now and we're uh we'll keep you guys posted and updated how she does um we're excited we've got a little bit of nerves but it'll be fine so follow along <laughs> all right savannah what do you think so, where'd you go? Hey. She's done drinking? Yep, sure. she's done. Hi. Hi. Are you excited? Yeah. Are you nervous? A little bit. I'm a little nervous too, if we're going to be honest. A little anxious. I think it's just anxious. It's my anxiety. Oop, there goes your piggy. <laughs> you better catch her. But we're uh, at the Okima. I think it's Oak Fusky Fair Barn. Anyway, we're here. About to, to go on. The show starts at 11, and it's almost in 45 or so. So we're we're getting her we're getting her uh, all geared up here, and we'll see what happens. She looks good. There's some competition here, but a little bit of competition is good. So we'll see see how she does. We're really we're not worried so much about how we do, how we win, but how we um, just experience and learning what to do and how to handle ourselves and the things you got to do when you show pigs. So um, we've got to remember to uh, shake the judge's hand, whether we come in first or last, we always got to remember to do that and just have a good attitude, smile, act like you're having fun. Cause this is why we're doing this for fun. And Cause there's lots of other stuff we could be doing too. So we're, we're here, we're getting all geared up. Um, so we'll see what happens.
For us back home, uh, I had three kids with three basketball games in three different cities. So I had a couple of extra grandparents uh, come in and help us get everybody where they needed to go. So we uh, filmed Caroline and Luke's game. I, I was the one that took them, so I, got, I know I got that footage. And then I think I've been sent one little clip from Jack. So um, Caroline and her team <laughs> wanted to be sure that they uh, got some airtime on the channel. So we, uh, I'm gonna include their game here for you to see. They did excellent, they won their game. Uh, they had, all the kids had fun. And that's really what counts. And we had some wins and um, some really good attempts. So <laughs> I think overall it was a great weekend and they all enjoyed themselves. And what are we doing, Luke? Uh, watching Caroline's basketball We're watching Caroline's basketball game. They're doing awesome. They're playing hard. Do you think they're going to win? Yep. Go Tigers! Jack and Grant in the pasture in the flower meadow and they had had some fun. It was a night where it wasn't too windy and so he had just finished disking the entire meadow which basically is behind a tractor. It's like this uh, attachment that goes on the tractor and has all these little wheels and they, he pulls it behind there and it kind of just turns up all the grass and um, all the dirt uh, to kind of even it all out and to pull out the grass because we want to get rid of that so that we don't have as much weed pressure um, this spring. So while it was like that, he went ahead and got out the torch and they, Jack and Grant had so much fun. Jack was telling me about this afternoon. He was like, mom, we would just like go around and uh, rake up some of the dry grass and then burn it. And so they had all these little piles of grass uh, on fire and he was just having a ball learning how to uh, use the propane torch and uh, set all the little fires and everything. Um, but the disc basically breaks up the dirt enough that it's a fire break. So it's just like little spots here and there. It doesn't actually catch the whole thing. So uh, they're trying to get rid of the grass for me. So I have less to contend with in the spring uh, when we put the rose in. So that was really fun and they were all excited about it. And, uh, Grant took a couple pictures. So I'm going to let you see. Um, I so wish that I was here. I would have filmed the whole thing. But um, sometimes you either do the thing or you film the thing. And uh, it's hard to remember to film when you're excited about what you're doing. Doing some burning out here for the flower farm. Kind of getting rid of some of this old grass I'm trying to disc up here. Who doesn't like to build a fire? Don't worry, we got it. We got this disked up big time here. It's not gonna get away from us. Feels good. And the rest of the weekend has been um, spending time as a family. Uh, the kids were out here today with all the chickens and they're enjoying the new disked up meadow. Uh, running everywhere and 
Um, the kids were helping me. Um, the chickens were just running everywhere and kind of figuring out. Grant and I kind of walked the meadow today and uh, we went over to where the parking area is going to be. All the different things that you have to think about when you uh, add agritourism onto your property is parking and the farm stand and where we're going to put all those things. And um, so we went over to where the park, we're like, okay, here's where we would park and then we would get out and then uh, how do you know where to go and which gate should you go in and where should we put the additional gate and all the things that come with just the logistics. Um, and we walked down there to see, okay, do we need to work on the pathway? Um, and then signage and all those kind of things. So logistically, there's a lot to work on uh, to make sure that people know where to go and what to do. And um, just people tend to go where it's easy access. And so we want to make sure that um, those are the kind of things that we're implementing. And so we don't have to redo it later. I think that's the biggest key is like, can we make some decisions that will be long term and we won't have to change it again? Uh, that's the biggest key there. Um, but it's been really fun uh, to start this process and uh, thank you all so much for those who have joined our Facebook page. It is facebook.com slash the, the flower meadow you pick. Just you, the letter U and pick. Um, and you can find us there on Facebook. It's been fun. Several of you have shared uh, the post with others and just to get the word out and we appreciate you so much for doing that. Um, it's really, really exciting to think of all of you coming here and enjoying the flowers and bringing friends and just uh, making memories. So that was our kind of dream and goal and we can't wait for it to all come true and to see it happen. So anyway, that is what we've been up to this weekend. Um, it's been busy <laughs> and a lot. The weather turned uh, cold but also windy and so we couldn't really burn anything uh, this afternoon. Um, it's Sunday and so we couldn't really burn anything this afternoon uh, like we were hoping to go ahead and finish off doing that. So we got some logistic things done, um, working on the website now and those kind of things. So a lot of stuff behind the scenes um, to make it all come together. And I think this week uh, we're going to start some more seeds. So we're so excited. Um, I hope all of you had a great weekend. Um, I'd love to know what y'all have been up to. And um, it's Sunday, so if you have any prayer requests that you want uh, us to pray for you, that would be an amazing thing for us to be able to do that for you. It lets us um, engage with you and find out what's going on in your life. Um, some of you comment regularly and it just helps us get to know you as well, uh, which we really like. So if you have any prayer requests or a praise item or something like that that you're just excited about, go ahead and share it in the comments and let us know. Um, but for now, I think that is it. And uh, we are going to sign off here. So um, go do something you love this week with the people that you love. <laughs> it sounds like laughing over there. Grant's putting all the chickens up uh, before we go to dinner with family. But um, it's been a fun weekend. And I hope you've enjoyed yours too. God bless.